Um, don't have, we have books, we have journals, we have magazines, and we have newspapers too. And it's run free. It has been free since 2004. I have never collected any money from anybody. Not because I don't need the money, but because I feel that if I put ask people to pay, my aim of encouraging the culture of reading will be defeated. So that is why I left it to be free. There was something that attached me to you. You might not know that. I've been following you all the way from London for years now. And I'm looking at someone that I've decided to leave his time. Education is something that we must prioritize. Education is important. You've donated 30,000 books, 30,058 books. Just take us through a little bit. Okay. Originally, when I started it, like I said, at the point, I didn't believe it was going to be possible to do it. When I started it and I discovered that I was able to buy books and put in place, I started asking myself, I said, well, how else can I help to encourage the reading culture across the nation? And I was targeting, well, since we have 774 local government, with the time, with time I will be able to set up 774 libraries. But I discovered it was capital intensive, not something I could do. Um, alternatively, and I said, okay, let me look for those who have, let me look for like minds who want to set up libraries and encourage them with books. So I started that, I told it open in the social media, and people started applying. I said, okay, I'm trying to set up a library, or my school have a space, we don't have books. I'll tell them, send me a photograph. Once I'm convinced you're real, I donate books. And I've been donating from 50, 25, 50 books to as much as 400 books. I think a particular organization got as much as 400 books for me. And that was because I saw their project, it was big, and I thought they needed more books. And um, so far, I, I remember very well, the first set of books I donated was in 2008. It was the craziest thing I ever did. Now, let me tell you about it. Because at that point in time, I was still struggling to survive, to run my own library, and I didn't have the cash. Then I did a project for a former...